welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and today I wanted to film a video about something that I really, really, really love and really, really enjoy. It is Supernatural TV show. I absolutely love it. They're on season 14 right now and I wanted to take this video to give my thoughts on the very first episode of season 14 because we need to talk about it, people. We need to talk about the elephant in the room. For those of you who have not, for whatever reason, have not seen season 14 yet, please go to the CW website, watch the first two episodes, and then come back and watch this video because we can talk about it together in the comments section. You can give me your opinions, I'll give you my opinions in this video. It'll be a really fun time. So without further ado, let's get to my thoughts of this very first episode of season 14. I'm gonna just do a quick recap of what happened at the end of season 13. For, you know, just so we can refresh our minds going into season 14, okay, people? Bear with me. So at the end of season 13, they rescue everybody. Well, not every, everybody, but a good chunk of people. Sam and Dean rescued a good chunk of people from the alternate reality where it was basically a war zone between the humans and the angels and the angels were being led by the Archangel Michael. But they initially went there to save Ketch, save their mom, and save Jack. And they ended up saving, saving a bunch of people, one of which was Bobby, alternate reality Bobby, yes. I am so happy Bobby is back because guess what? He's amazing. Amazing! I love him. I love his character. I think Charlie's back too, but she's off somewhere doing something or another. I don't know. But, anyways. They rescue everybody. They come back to the bunker. Michael and Lucifer escape. Gabriel dies, unfortunately. I'm sad by that. But, Michael and Lucifer come back to our reality because... Lucifer knew how to open the portal and he made a deal with Michael to spare him be like hey I know how to get out of this hellhole open a portal to where everybody else is da 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 if you don't kill me I'll help you get there and you know I just want my son da 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 for those of you who don't know who his son is Jack is his son he's a Nephilim half human Half Archangel. Very powerful. Very, very powerful. Anyways, they come back to the reality, our reality, Dean and Sam's reality. Michael comes after them. Jack tries to save them. Jack realizes Lucifer was lying to him and distracting him. All the things. Lucifer steals his powers. Lucifer takes Jack and Sam away. Dean is like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? And then he says yes to Michael to help defeat Lucifer. Because he cannot fight Lucifer on his own. I mean, I wish he could have, but, you know, he would have died, unfortunately, people. And I would have cried because I love him. Anyways. So yeah, and then Dean slash Michael defeat Lucifer. And then Michael decides, hey, I don't care what our bargain was. I'm going to take over your body and take control of you and possess you, like actual possess you. And that's what he did. And that's how it ended. Jack was powerless. Dean then became Michael. Everybody was lost because they didn't know what the fuck to do. And now here we are, season 14, and I was actually very surprised because in season 14, the first two episodes, I feel Jenna's and Ackles was in the second episode more than the first episode. Um, the first episode was basically us 
seeing what Michael was trying to do. He was basically going about asking people, angels, supernatural creatures, what is it that they wanted? What do you want? And he tried to answer them. They tried to answer him. He, he killed them, some of them, you know. Sam's losing his damn mind trying to find Dean slash Michael so they can figure out how to get rid of Michael and save Dean. Jack's dealing with the fact that he has no powers and is trying to learn how to fight. Then they find out, oh hey, there's a demon that wants to try to be the new Crowley because Crowley's dead. He died in the end of season 12. Uh, but anyways, so they were like, oh, we found out there's just going to be a new king of hell. And the new king of hell wanted to make a deal with them. They wouldn't do it. He tried to kill them all. There were other demons in the place that they were. A bar, garage, I don't know. And then, yeah. Sam kills him. Says, there will not be a new king of hell ever again. And if there is, you're going to have to go through me. And I was like, holy shit. What the actual F is going on. And yeah. And then basically. Michael finds sister Jo. Who's played by Jonathan Axel's wife. And she ends up calling Sam. Saying hey we've got a problem. And that's pretty much. How it ended. For the first episode. So I basically kind of just recapped it for you. But. Now that we know what happened in that episode, let's talk about my opinions of that episode. It was very hard for me to watch the first two episodes of Super of Supernatural Season 14 just because of the fact that it was very hard watching Dean not be Dean because he was Michael instead. And it was just very, very hard for me to watch it. I got through it. I watched it. But like every time I saw him and I saw him being Michael, I was like, no, <laughs> you need to get out of Dean right now. <laughs> I will hop through my tablet and I will kill you myself with the Archangel Blade. <sighs> oh, and also the Archangel Blade only killed Lucifer, did not kill his host, Nick. And Nick is remembering all sorts of crazy shit that happened while Lucifer was possessing him. So there's that as well. So yeah. But anyway, my thoughts. Um, I did not like the fact I could not handle watching Jonathan Ackles play Michael because Michael is an asshole and he needs to die. Like, right now, he needed to die like season 13 ago. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then, Sam actually had a beard. They let Jared Padalecki have a beard in season 14 for like the first two episodes. I don't know about the third episode, but like, especially for like the first and second episode for sure, he had a beard and I was just like, what? It's like, that's like the first time you ever see one of them with any facial hair on their face during the 14 seasons that they've done the show. Season 14 isn't even done yet, and like, the first two episodes he has facial hair because he's not concerned about his facial hair because he's dealing with the fact that his brother is possessed by an archangel who wants to destroy the world. <sighs> it's crazy. Ugh. And also that. Jack can't fight for shit. I love him, but he can't fight for shit. And he needs to work on that. And basically the bunker was no longer just Dean and Sam's anymore. Yes, I'm still saying Dean because, you know, that is Dean's home. But everybody that they saved pretty much was living there. Anybody that stayed, that didn't go off on their own to explore and to live their lives. A lot of them were living in the bunker. And I was like, what? 
it was crazy. I was like, wow, that's the most people you've seen in the bunker since they found the bunker. <laughs> I mean, otherwise it was basically just Dean and Sam and then Castiel every now and again and now Jack. But now you have Bobby, Mary, Winchester, you know, all these other people. It was crazy. And also, Ketch was not in the first two episodes. I think he went back to Britain to do whatever. I don't know. But yeah. So, it was really good. I enjoyed it. I liked it. I also enjoyed the second episode as well. Um, I'm not going to give away the second episode. I, I, I think I should, but I'm not going to on my thoughts on that. Maybe, maybe, ooh, sh let me know in the comment section below if you think I should do a series on Supernatural 14 to give you my thoughts and opinions about every single episode. Um, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know, really know if I did this very well. It was my first time doing it. And it's not like I was doing a reaction video. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. So, calm down people. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comment section below if you think I should do a series on this or not. Um, or if I should review other stuff as well. And also, again, you guys can follow me at all my social media, media platforms. The links will be in the description below as well. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. And guys, again, if you guys follow me, I will follow you. You guys message me or DM me, snap me insta me whatever i will respond just like in the comment section i will respond i know usually responding to comments in the comment section on youtube is not necessarily a good idea especially if they're not nice comments but i can't help myself so yeah and uh with that um uh, also if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button it's free and, you know, while you're right there hitting the subscribe button, you might as well just hit the notification bell right next to it so you get notified whenever I release a video. And uh, with that, I love you guys. I'll see you next time.